to feel my heart beat fast. I want this to last. Need you by my side. Every time we touch, I feel the Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Path of Nostalgia. This video we're looking at Victor and Hugo, Bunglers and Crime, from 1991. So Victor and Hugo, Bunglers and Crime, we're sort of coming to this halfway point now of Path of Nostalgia, and I'll discuss something at the end of the video, okay? Which is going to be interesting. So let's get on with Victor and Hugo, Bunglers and Crime. So Victor and Hugo, Bunglers and Crime, it stars the legendary David Jason and Jimmy Hibbert, although, funny thing, it's like... The roles have been swapped, you know, David Jason's not the star, he's sort of the side character very much. And, Ju and Ju um, uh, Jimmy Hibbert sort of takes the, takes the lead mantle, which is a bit of a change, actually, which sort of works. Excuse me. It's all about Cosco Hall again, so you know it's going to be meant to be good. Uh, this is like, um, draw an animation, this is. Funny thing this is, let me, let's just break this down now. So, Virgin Hugo. This all, um, this all French criminals living in France, you know, typical Frenchmen, playing crimes, stealing stuff, working for local mobsters, gangsters, huge bosses, and you know, end up in trouble, you know, getting caught by the police, the um, was it the consular, the consular, the constables or the inspectors? I think the inspectors, yeah, French. I think the inspectors they are called in here in that TV show. And then we get. So I'm interested, um, you know, this whole what the this whole wild goose chase antics, you know, is involving hypnotism. I think stealing pandas is another one, carjacking, these sort of things, you know, like it's these sort of wild brained ideas for robberies and amazing heists and schemes to get rich and stuff. It's pretty, it's pretty interesting as well. It's like it's got that sort of like Pink Panther type style to it, which sort of works, you know, you know, I mean, that sort of. Or you could say, like, Inspector Clouseau or something like that, you know. It's an asshole main Italian job. You can name a few different references to with this sort of link in the show. Speaking of links to the show, this is actually um, relevant to the previous shows that they did. For example, Danger Mouse and Count Dukla, a more specific Count Dukla, Because these two characters are actually based on two other characters, I think, for the same name in Count Dukla. So you can say this is like another, this is like another spin-off to Danger Mouse, this is. Because you have Count, you have Danger Mouse, then you spawned off Count Dukla in the late eighties. Come to the come to the early nineties, you have Victor and Hugo Bongs and Grind. Um, it's just quite it's weird. It's like this weird uni It's like this weird universe that we've sort of entered. You know, it's like Cosco Falls. I don't know what you call it actually. It's just it's just like some unknown universe. Like it's a weird style that involves characters that are vampires, secret agents. Villains, henchmen, that sort of thing. You know, involves craziness, you know, a time trapping castle, you know, a rat a mouse in the malls fighting crime, all defended evil plans from an evil toad, to somewhere in France, or Paris, I think it's mainly saying Paris, doing oddball jobs, you know, the, the most insane, interesting jobs, really. And then Think of it, it's just so blows my mind, it does. Now, one thing to mention about this, and this is sort of like for the home video market, this is, and, well, it's related to home video, why I say home video market? Well, home video market related, anyway. Um, my mind's blowing a bit slightly. Oh, I did too many of these already, so this is the last one I'm going to, I'm going to finish, uh, uh, finish doing. Then I'll do some more later on. I'm not going to finish Buffy Tasha here. Lots more great stuff coming. Anyway, so there's only one video of... Victor and Hugo Bungs and Crime. The thing is, it's nowhere to be seen. It's quite rare to get. It only contains three episodes, which is the first, fifth, and sixth episodes. And that's the only thing that's the only thing they released, actually. I think they released a few, a few books here, then, here and there. But overall, not much. Not much at all. And, and it's quite funny, because you have two seasons worth of this stuff. Yeah, you do. This Victor and Hugo has actually went for two seasons. And... You only got one video between the three episodes of the first season and nothing else. Really? Hmm. Again, it's Thames. Mind you, mind you, I just realised actually, because you think of, think of this, Thames, 992, they sort of deceased afterwards. You know, they became default, well, they sort of became non existent by the, the very start of 93. So that could be the that could be the thing. And then stuff, 
and obviously the, uh, with Thames gone, and obviously the, I think, well actually, no, um, I'm so miscounted. Now I thought the video collection would, uh, when, the Thames, when Thames video just finished, and I thought the video collection just moved on to other things, other stuff then, you know, um, and help him do stuff with Thames very much. However, that's not the case. I just realised that he kept going until... I would say in the late nineties, very much they still kept going on with, with the Thames video thing, and yeah, very much. Um, I think that's what I could say about that. It's just like a little odd little fact, really. You know that there's only one VHS of Richard Hugo to get, and that's it. There's no DVD releases at all. Getting YouTube videos as well, I probably think it's quite difficult as well. I don't know. Th I think some are uploaded. Maybe one or two are uploaded. Who knows? Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. It's been inter It's been interesting so far. I've been talking about Virgin Hugo, Bungus and Crime from Day One, stood by Crosscuff Hall. You have Jimmy Hibbert and David Jason as well. You know the usual team. You know the usual you know, the usual suspects. The, you know the dream team, of course. You know to make the magic happen. And to finish off this video, there's a little message I'm going to so put at the end. And like always, with every single video that I do on this channel. Thanks for watching, see you for the next video. Or in this case, see you for the little message video at the end of the video. Thank you for watching, bye. Hey guys, welcome to this special video. Uh, I'm Mike. At the moment now, we're coming towards the sort of definitive point, high point of Path Nostalgia we are. Um, all those videos that came before, some, most of them were sort of people that seem to love, people I saw, um, People loved some stuff I found I thought was kind of interesting, and there's a few like childhood favorites, like a couple of childhood favorites that I've really loved for many years. Now, with this video, I'm I'm saying I'm going to say that from this point on, we are going. I could say we're going down the greatest hits route. We are like this this long this these videos down. I'm going, to, I'm going to bring out later on after after this the video which is Richard Hugo Monks and Crime. We're now entering weirdness, nostalgia, and complete and you know in lots of fandom. You know people. You know um, you know was it scre screaming their, the lungs out for excitement and stuff. You know it's just going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting for me because I haven't talked about these. For the channel yet, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, there's gonna be a few good stuff there. There's gonna be about, I would say, about 21 videos, and I think 21 if I worked it out. And I'm still doing a few, there's still quite a bit more, but these are gonna be the best ones, I think. I'm gonna, I'm happy doing. There's a few good ones I've done, of course, with the camera and the little slide, slideshow, this background here, I think I can remember. And then I saw sort of moved on there to. To improve the second phase, because phase one started from Cam Docker to Nelly Elephant, and then from Junglings to the Solve, the last one, that's phase two. So you could, see, you could or you can count them as seasons, very much. I just come, I just put them in as one big thing, like an ongoing series, with a few different adjustments to it. However, from now on, after this, after Victor Hugo comes out, we're going peak nostalgia. You know, we've re we've reached a high top. We are, we've reached. For my pop, for my money, the best of the best, you know, stuff I'm going to talk about. It's going to be like a lot. The videos will be much longer, and me babbling on about stuff that I've grown to love, you know. And the first one is going to be a surprise. It's going to be like the greatest opener you can definitely see. It's like the best, like it's like you opened an album with a great rock song or something like a powerful tune, and then you go and you progress through the album so much better as well. You know, it's going to be like that, you know. There's going to be a few different things, of course, I'm going to use clips for a change for some of them. Um, some of the intros are going to be different from others. Rather than use a the, the intros I use, for example, the video collection logo, the the, the, was it, the MGC management vid, virgin video logo, and then the 2020 vision logo as well. And that's going to be all gone to be replaced by a few... By, by a new one, which I've very proudly created. I'm very happy that it's done, 
I feel pleased about it. And yes, I'm really looking forward to it. I am. I mean, that, that new intro I've made, solid. It's actually a second intro I've made. I will discuss it in a video later on that of this other intro that I made. But the first two, the first two, I would say the first two, great, uh, the greatest hits ones. They'll have a different intro altogether, and then from onwards, from the third one, then onwards downwards, they'll have that new intro very much. So, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe for me for wasting your time at all. But it's been a great pleasure doing Path of Nostalgia. I'm still doing it as we speak, you know, I've still got those videos to do, do a bit of editing, you know, publish them if I have time at all to do it because I'm working. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Sorry, it's, I'm baffling about and the sun's bright. Literally like bright as hell. At least it's not winter sun. Winter sun is absolutely terrible. Look, the spring sun, not too bad. Anyway, thank you for watching. Sorry for my jabbering, but I will see you for the next video. And the upcoming Path of Nostalgia Grace Hits. For me, and maybe to you, who knows? Anyway, thank you for watching.